Is there a perfect calisthenics workout? Today's video, I'm gonna be showing you my full week of calisthenics training. That's right, from Monday to Sunday, how I train, all the exercises broken down. Let's go, people. On Mondays, it's a push day. Now we're gonna focus on our calisthenic skills first because that requires a lot of energy and we need to be working at 100% on our skills. Then after, we'll do sets and reps. With the planche lean, it's really important to maintain a hollow body position. So as you can see, I'm rounding my upper back, I'm keeping my abs and core tight, and I'm just leaning as far as I can and just holding that position. As you get stronger, you'll be able to lean more further forward, getting you closer into that planche position. Next up, we have different planche progressions. We're going to hold one of these progressions. So you're going to pick one of these you can do. Try the tuck planche first. Once you get better at that, then the advanced tuck onto the straddle planche and eventually the full planche. We're well, going to train these using resistant bands and parallels. Make sure you're using the correct resistant band. If the band is too heavy, if it's providing too much assistance, you won't benefit from the exercise. If I were you, I'd pick a red or black band whenever you're training your static skills. That's probably the best bands to work with. Moving on to sets of reps now, the first exercise on our push day is going to be ring dips. As you can see, I've added a weight vest and a band to make the exercise a bit harder. This is just going to help me push a little bit more. And again, because I'm quite advanced with my calisthenics, I want to make sure I'm always progressively overloading. Next up, we've got pike push-ups. So this time it's more of a vertical push. So whenever we're training, if it's push or pull, we're always going to mix in some vertical and horizontal pushing or pulling movements. So this is a great exercise to develop shoulder and tricep strength. Moving on to this time, horizontal push movement. I love these diamond push-ups. By bringing your hands closer together, you just get a better contraction in your pecs and triceps. Again, I've added some extra weight using the vest and the band. If you can't do that, it's okay. You can do it on your knees or just the regular diamond push-ups. Onto the last exercise of push day, we've got skull crutches. Now slow the movement down. Technique wise, just keep your elbows tucked. Remember to keep your elbows tucked in throughout the movement. Moving on to our next session, it's Tuesday, it's pool day, again we're going to be starting with some skill work and then moving on to our sets and reps. The first progression in order to achieve the front lever you want to master is the tucked front lever. Then you can go on to the advanced tuck, so you bring your knees slightly further out. It's going to put a lot more stress on your core and in your lats. And the last exercise, a great one to try out, are bodyweight deadlifts. If you hadn't noticed already, since it's a pull day, we're training pulling skills. So another really good pulling skill for the posterior chain are back levers. Now, in order to train for the back lever, you're going to first start by skinning the cat. So again, you're going to maintain a tuck position and just roll yourself over and through the bar. If mobility restricts you and you can't get your feet through the bars, you can always use rings as well. After skinning the cat, you also want to try and hold the tuck back lever. So holding that tuck position and if you can, slowly start to kick out. So obviously it won't be as clean as this when you drill it and you probably won't be able to kick your legs out as much. But the more practice you get, the better you will become at this skill. Again, negative back levers are another great way to develop the strength to actually hold the back lever. On to the next part of the workout into our sets and reps. So we're gonna start off with some vertical pulling movements. Now vertical pulling and pushing movements I find much harder than horizontal uh, pulling or pushing movements. So we're gonna start off with some weighted chin ups. I'm doing them weighted here. You can always regress it and just do some banded chin ups. Again, use a band which doesn't provide you too much assistance to the point where you don't feel the exercise. Rolls for the holes, baby. Next exercise, you know what it is. We're gonna get into some horizontal rows. Again, this is really tough. If you can't do this, you can always regress it and go into Australian pull-ups as shown in the bottom right hand corner. Next, we've got another vertical pull movement. We've got hammer pull-ups. These just test the biceps, not, not the biceps, but the brachialis. It's the muscle situated next to your bicep and also your lats. It's a fire exercise. And last but not least, we're gonna get into those damn tuck front lever rows. These are a killer. So make sure you use a band if you're struggling on them. Coming up to one of the most underrated days of the week, Wednesday rest day. You need the recovery guys, eat, sleep, chill the F out. Coming on to our second push day, it's Thursday. Again, we're gonna keep the skills the same, so practicing those planche leans 
and the tuck planche. For those of you who haven't already, smash that like button, show some love, share this video with a friend. I'm giving you all these free tips guys, all you can do for me is subscribe and smash that like button. Love to all of you. Alright, so once we do those planche leans, again we're going to go into either the tuck planche, the advanced tuck, the straddle or the full planche and we're going to train this using a band. So again guys, try get a red or black band. Right here I'm using a green band which is too much assistance. I think so pick the red or black band honestly moving on to incline push-ups this is a great exercise that's going to work the front part of your shoulders and your triceps again it builds the strength up towards the handstand push-up if you can't quite do that you can always do banded military presses now guys to avoid injuries and imbalances you always want to include some form of unilateral movements so here i'm doing archer push-ups again focusing on one arm and then we're going to focus on the other so by doing this, you're really focusing all your attention onto one specific muscle group on one side of your body, and this will hopefully avoid any imbalances. Moving on, we have bent arm flyers. So rings are just an amazing piece of equipment. Guys, you need to invest in your health, get some rings, get some parallettes, bands, weight vests, all the equipment you need to build your physique that you want. Last but not least, we're going to finish off with some close grip ring push-ups. With this one, you can go a bit more explosive. And again, as you come to the top, you're going to squeeze the rings together. It's Friday, starting off the weekend with our second pull session. We're going to start off with the bread and butter of calisthenics pull-ups. If you can't do weighted pull-ups, you can always do banded pull-ups. Just remember guys, pick a band that's going to provide you enough assistance, but not too much so you don't feel the exercise. So you're going to find the right band, you're just going to have to test that out. Alright, next up, this is an amazing single arm exercise, banded one arm chin-ups. So if you want to really strengthen your lats and biceps, this is an amazing exercise. If you can't quite do that, you can always do ring rows, so one arm ring rows. Technique wise, the higher you grab the band, the easier it will be. Moving on to bodyweight bicep curls, again using those rings, what we're going to do is just curl all the way so our knuckles touch the forehead so we get that nice peak contraction in the biceps. Again, if that's too hard, you can always do banded bicep curls. Next, we've got reverse curls. This is a great progression for the Hey Festo. I usually tend to have a false grip when I do this exercise. Again, it just means it transfers over to the Hey Festo more and it feels a lot smoother. Never ever skip leg day. We can't neglect it guys. If you wanna be an overall complete athlete, you need to work your legs. Your legs are one of your biggest muscles in your body. They need to be strong. So we're gonna start off with some squat jumps. If you can't quite do squat jumps, you can always arrest it and just do bodyweight squats. Next up, Bulgarian split squat, hands down one of the best leg exercises. Unilateral movement, single leg movement, it's gonna develop some serious, serious quad glute hamstring strength you want to rest your leg on a bar or a chair or anything that's around knee height moving on to nordic hamstring curls one of the greatest and best exercises for your hamstrings all pro athletes do this exercise it is so much harder than it looks if you can do this all the way down and all the way back up you have elite hamstring strength so as you can see here i'm just controlling the negative they do take a lot out of you and this is another variation where i'm just bending and hinging at the hips and you still feel it like mud on this one give it a try guys let me know how it goes last but not least we're going to finish off with a sprinter lunge this is a great plyometric exercise builds up explosive power and again you're going to feel it everywhere your calves quads hammies adducted everything in your legs moving on to core now hollow rocks the staple movement for any strong core you want to make sure you maintain that core position make sure your lower back doesn't lift off the ground and now we're going to go on to some two-point planks. So again, this exercise is quite tough, challenges your balance. You're going to switch and hold for as long as you can on each side. Next up are straddle leg lifts. This is a great movement to develop some lower back and glute strength. So any straddle movement like planche, you know, straddle presses, it's going to help build that strength up for those movements. On to our final exercise of the week, banded crunches. This is an amazing exercise that really tests your hip flexor and lower ab strength. Again, make sure your lower back is firmly flat against the ground to so keep that posterior pelvic tilt and just crunch. Crunch, baby! Last day, Sunday, is again a rest day. 
So that was the video guys. Hope you have a better understanding on how to train for the week. Full body workout. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Once again, as always, comment, like, share. Most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you did enjoy this video as well, share it with a friend. Keep the channel growing. And I'll catch you guys next week with another video. It's been your boy Tyle and I'm out. Peace.